Hi, I'm Brian from Brian's Black Mountain Barbecue in Cave Creek, Arizona. I have a restaurant and I've written a cookbook and I'd like to share a recipe with you today. Today I'm going to do lamb shanks on the grill. So I'm going to start with two lamb shanks. These are about a pound a piece. Sprinkle them with uh, my Brian's Barbecue Spice Rub. Or you can use salt and pepper. Get a nice coating on here because that's going to make a nice crust on the barbecue here. And then I place these on the grill. Now, a nice way to get a little bit of that smoke flavor is to make a foil packet with, uh, this is pecan wood here, but you can use any wood that you like, if you like hickory or mesquite. Um, make a little packet, take your knife, poke some holes in here, like that, so the smoke can escape. I'm gonna set that right on the grill. And we're gonna close the lid, and this will take about, well, we really want to get them up to about 135 degrees, which would be about medium, medium rare. Um, probably about an hour, hour and a half. And I'm going to start uh, making a sauce here for you. This is a ginger beer barbecue sauce. Really complements the lamb very well. Three beers right into the pot. There's two. I like to use a gluten-free beer, but any beer would be fine. Dark, light, whatever your preference is. And then two and a half cups of sugar. So what I want to do is take this, put this on the stove, and I'm going to let this reduce by half. And then I'm going to add four cups of barbecue sauce. Once again, I'm using Brian's barbecue sauce, but you can use any barbecue sauce you like. Uh, two tablespoons of ginger, which I have julienne. One teaspoon of lemon juice. Two bay leaves. An eighth of a teaspoon of cardamom, which is an Indian spice. And an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, allspice. Put that on the grill. We're actually on the stove here. And we let that simmer for about approximately 20 to 30 minutes until it gets a nice thickness to it. And once the lamb is ready off the grill, this lamb uh, is here, it's perfect. We spoon the sauce over the top. And you can see how that julienne ginger really makes a nice garnish on the top there. And there you have it. This is a barbecue lamb on the grill with a ginger beer barbecue sauce. And if you'd like more information about me, my restaurant, or my cookbook, check out briansbbq.com.